Okay, so I'm sharing a quick stuff that I was kind of showing. In a dream, uh, there was these two ladies that were fighting over trying to marry me. The one is like, I knew if she married me, she would not be able to um, fulfill her call that God had on upon her life. And she didn't seem to be winning the battle to marry me. So, and, uh, but in the dream also, it was uh, told to me that Psalm 133 is about marriage. So I'm going to read this uh, psalm here. And it's only three chapters. Behold, how good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. You know, uh, unity in marriage. Is it? It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that's the high priest, who's our high priest, that's Jesus, that went down to the skirts of his garment as a dew of Haram, and as the dew that descends upon the mountain of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessings, even life, forevermore. You know, so there's that blessing from God when you walk in unity in a marriage. Alright, and uh, just out of curiosity too, I looked up uh, for um, the Strong's Concordance when it says uh, for brother in verse 1 and found that sometimes it could also be uh, referred to as another in Joel 2.8. Uh, neither shall one thrust another, and they shall walk every one in his path, and they shall fall upon the sword, and they shall not be wounded. All right, and um, that's also talking about too. You know, you got a path to walk. You got a call on God. Um, just because you want to marry someone doesn't mean that that's going to fulfill the call in your life just because you want to marry that person. That may not be the call God has for you to marry that person, maybe someone else. But anyways, in uh, Job, um, and that's there, and in Job 41, 17, and they are joined one to another, and to another is also the same word as for brethren in uh, the Psalms. They stick together, they cannot be sundered, or sundered is divided. So, and this is basically talking about the scales of Leviathan at this point. But I was just thinking, it's like, you know, when two people are actually walking together in unity, it's hard to actually break them apart, you know? And that's when the blessings of God can fall down, is when you are walking in unity in a marriage. All right. God bless.